uh, we'll talk we'll talk about it in the next episode. But we have a lot to talk about here. So I want to dive right in to Jurassic World Evolution Two. Now this is something we have both played a little bit. I, I you probably played more than I have. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh man, that is so bright in my face. <laughs> it's really bright. <laughs> oh man, all right. There we go. There guess you go. I'm, I guess I'm not looking at that website. Uh, this is the worst for audio listeners. I have three monitors. And uh, every website is white, is... and it's and now I can't get it to resize. Oh my gosh, this is horrible! Oh, all That's the monitors... right. you major celebrations on three hundred episodes, you know? Yeah. All right. So <laughs> evolution. I don't know. I I did beat the campaign, but I don't know if that's really something that like it didn't take all that long. There's like five levels. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't beat it yet. <laughs> okay, no, that's fair. I mean, yeah, and I think, I think it's problematic, and we should talk about that. Yeah. So I've I've played it maybe a total of three times. I think, um, maybe I'm... totaling in like four to five hours so far, and I still have one more to beat. Um, okay. I played the last level, and uh, of the campaign, and then I played for like an hour and forty five minutes or so, and then I had to completely reset it. So I gave up, and I haven't gone back since, yep. um, because it's frustrating. It's got to be one of the most frustrating gaming experiences I've ever dealt with. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, I don't like to say that, but I play I play a ton of games constantly. Every day I'm playing something since I was a child. Yep. Um, so you know, it's not like this is like a new experience for me. So I I consistently game and. This one, for some reason, is incredibly frustrating all around so far. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not going to say we didn't have the frustrations with Evo 1, Evolution 1. Um, there was definitely a lot of like us talking and bantering back and forth. Like, yeah, I had to like restart this level or I had to restart. Like, But the thing was, you kind of figure out, you figure out when you make a mistake and mm -hmm. then you backtrack with a save file and then yeah. you go forward. I found with this one, I, I was having bad things happen that were like going to ruin my level. Like, and I did not realize it for, uh, two hours. Like that's not good, you know? Um, mm -hmm. and the game is at least evolution one, the campaign felt rewarding. Every time you got a new dinosaur, uh, it just felt rewarding. It felt like you were building towards something you should not come out of this campaign and not have a T-Rex. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, you haven't beaten it yet, but you don't come out of this Boy. campaign. Right. Yeah, I mean, but like, it's just not, golly, man, I just don't know. Like, it is not rewarding. It is super frustrating. Um, my frustration, there's a level where you, you wrangle two Carnotaurs. Cool, awesome. Then I had, through no fault of my own, I had a tornado come through, broke the fences. My Carnotaur fence broke and my Allosaurus fence broke. Okay. Like whatever. The Allosaurus killed a Carnotaur. Cool. Like that's, that's part of the game. All right. That, that's not out of the ordinary for evolution, right? For a tornado yeah. to come and dinosaurs eat one another. Right. But yeah, like the final mission of that level, which is like way later was like, make sure all your dinosaurs are happy for like five minutes. And to make sure your dinosaurs are happy is a bunch of just crap that you have to do <laughs> to do it. You're sending Jeeps out left and right. And you got like one yeah. during this level. And uh, man, I'm like, why? They're all happy. They're all happy. What is happening? Nope. My Carnotaur has to have a partner. And there is no way to hatch a new a partner dinosaur during this. So I like lost like and I here's because oh here's the here's yeah. the cycle of evolution. You mess up, you don't realize for an hour that you messed up. Then you spend an hour going, maybe I can fix it. Yeah. Maybe maybe I can fix the maybe I can play the game. Maybe the game didn't screw me <laughs> royally. Um, but no. Uh, and after like three hours, you give up and you restart the level, and you're just mad at the game. Um, that's where I'm at right now. I did. I started Jurassic Park uh what if and yeah, i theory. legitimately like started it got so far backtracked a couple saves 
Yeah, and it's like the mistake was made somewhere early on enough that like I was like, all right, I'm done. But I've already invested like five hours in this what if level. So yeah. I turned it off and I'm like, okay. Like it doesn't respect my time. Right. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a, my thought on that's it. A big problem. Yeah, the respecting of time is a is a is a huge issue. I I talked to somebody who said they they spent six hours on on the Jurassic Park Chaos Theory mode and had to restart. If I'm spending six hours on a mode, and, and then I have to trash it, it has I'm to be fixable. Yeah, it's you gotta done. make things fixable in the level. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what you experienced with the Carnotaur not being able to salvage that in any way. That's I don't I don't I don't get it. So what happened? That's to me a game breaking was... bug. Why were storms yeah. introduced in that level? Like, or why 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 make them interact in a way where they can eat them eat each other? You know, like that. I mean, that's always been the case. That, but at least turn that feature off for like this mode. Or, you know, if you're not going to give somebody the availability to build sure. another one, yeah. Um, I don't know what happened in mine when I I think whatever the last one is is it California or something like that. I um. Oh, you're close I, to the know, end, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm on the last level, and I played through it for a while, and and um, or whichever level it is, but like, I I ended up just losing money left and right completely. Mm-hmm. Like, I couldn't I couldn't get myself out of the hole, and I tried selling off as much as I could, and I couldn't I just couldn't come back. I eventually came back. I got a lot of money, and then all of a sudden it just left again. So, it yeah, it's very very frustrating, and it doesn't make me want to play again, you know, and especially hearing these horror stories, you know, and tech, you know, we're just talking about video games here, but like these horror stories of like, I, you know, I played for six hours or played for four hours and then I had to restart. I'm like, I don't, that doesn't sound fun to me. And having things happen left and right. We talked about this before the game came out, but I kind of just want to have a nice fulfilling, relaxing experience more so playing this game. But you have to suffer for a hundred hours. You probably have to suffer for fifty hours before you can have the relaxing, build your own like park, right? I don't. And I get it. That's not they, what I want to do. I know. And they, the last game was like this. So, and I love the last game. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's sophomore slump. Maybe it's just like I feel like I could go boot up the old game and have that relaxing, build my own Jurassic Park. Um, Maybe. You know, because I unlocked everything in that game. I'm going to go back to this. I, it's just like the perfect time is going to be the holiday, and I'm not carting my PS5 around for the holiday. That thing's a monster. I have this I have this other thought about this game, and I'm like, how do you create a dinosaur game that's not for kids? Mm-hmm. Like, no kid is going to sit through this to build a, a dinosaur park. Um, I Like, I don't know. I just have other thoughts, like... Well- they introduced this science, the scientist mechanic, which is awful. It is mm-hmm. awful. It is in your way the entire time. I don't know where these scores, like they did the whole splash page of like all the love it's getting. I'm like, I don't want, un- did these people play this game? There's no way these people played this game. This game gets in your way of playing with dinosaurs every step of the way. And yeah. I, it, I mm-hmm. just was frustrated the whole I, freaking I know. Time. I like haven't I haven't had a moment to actually like have a good time with the dinosaurs at all. And that's really what you want from this game. I'm too busy in a menu trying to figure out why I why I can't be in this menu when the scientists are doing things because it pauses. And I'm like, why why does it pause the you know, the 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 scientists as they're doing their thing when I'm in the menu that didn't happen in the previous game. I was still allowed to be in there and they were still allowed to do their work. Um, you know, off on a, a mission somewhere, not the scientist per se, but you were able to like do research and do things in the menu in the previous game, but you can't do that in this one. I didn't even um, think I didn't even think of that, but you're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. The scientists are so frustrating and I, I don't understand what is happening half the time. I'm like, well, why can't I proceed? What it, what is holding me up here? Is it this thing? Is that it takes me so long? And I think what this game does poorly is it relies on your your memory of playing the first game. It's like you need to have played the first game in order to understand how to even begin to play this game. Because I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. It doesn't it doesn't describe what's on the left of your screen at all. Like what you're supposed to be doing. Right. You know, yeah, like, yeah, it doesn't. I'm like, um, OK. And then I I found myself if you want go watch my gameplays, I'm like just sitting there like. um, Now what? What am I supposed to do? 
Like, I literally have no idea. Even though there's a little description down here, I'm like, well, first off, I don't understand what that's trying to tell me to do. And then it's just a big mess. And, and those scientists really wreak havoc on your fun of the thing. And um, yeah, it's just it's just not fun overall. And I and you mentioned the kids and, and kids aren't going to want to play this game. Um, I, I mean, I was playing with my younger son and he was he was having fun watching me play. But like he can't read. And there's so much reading in this game. <laughs> like words constantly on the screen and it's just like too much for for kids um so i, I don't know I, I don't know what what to expect i'm gonna anymore. go through it i'm gonna beat it i'm you know uh we're gonna get into like this game actually selling uh less stellar than than frontier mm -hmm. thought um yeah the scientist for me is is by far the biggest downfall of this game um even even outside of starting over again because in the last game, there was a lot of starting levels. I feel like, again, like I said, I learned earlier when to start over, but the it's like, not only do you have the, you have, do you have to deal with the scientist mechanic, but your scientists, like all your dinosaurs, they have stats. So you have to like, they get disgruntled if you work them too hard. Uh, they need to rest, which is like, it's not like they take it. It's like, it costs you hundreds of thousands of dollars to send them on a rest. And it's like, why is this part of my dinosaur building game? Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know where in the fandom. I guess really niche fans love the science. They love woo. I don't love woo. I don't really care about woo as a really anything. I mean, sure. He's kind of this great protagonist in this new series, but like, I just, I don't know. I, I just want to play a dinosaur game, not scientist management game. Um, yeah. Yep. I'll get back yep. to it, but I, I got to have like six hours of time. I don't have six hours at a time anymore to play Yeah, this game. It's it's too bad. Because, like, all right, let's talk about some positives, though. Do you have any positives of this game? Any positives? Um, It's beautiful. It's stunning. I mean, it looks fantastic. Um, You know, I, I had I had a moment where I – it was, I think, the last level or, or – or I don't know, somewhere around there where I was driving the truck and I, I had to go out and take pictures of dinosaurs mm -hmm. and you're driving through this amazingly huge landscape, yeah. like massive. I'm like, wow, this is insane. Like this is so big and beautiful. And I'm going out there and taking pictures. I'm like, oh, wow, this is the game I wanted to play. This yeah. is like what I wanted to do. And then went downhill from there after that. <laughs> but like that, that was so good. And I, I found that to be so beautiful and refreshing and just a nice change of pace to be able to go out there and, and just take pictures. It was awesome. All these, all, all those cinematics are not cinematics. They're like a two and a half D 3d render, but like you move the camera through like a still of a 3d render kind of oh thing. My, yeah. Like, it's gorgeous. And like all so the, gorgeous. all the care and effort they put into that. It's absolutely amazing. And you can mm -hmm. tell that the game itself, the things that we're complaining about, this is not, this is not Jurassic World Evolution 1.5 like I was originally saying I thought it was going to be. There's obviously something drastically majorly different under the hood of this game. And it's just too bad that it's going unappreciated in our circles. Again, I don't know where these like 8.5s and 9s and 9.5s are coming from. I'm not sure. But like, I don't think it's that at all. I don't know. Um, Am I, I burned yeah. out? Maybe I'm burned out on Jurassic. I don't know. I'm no, sitting there playing it. I'm like, I, what's wrong with me? Something's wrong with me, right? Maybe, maybe general, you know, score givers want uh, a different game than we want. You know, maybe. that's possible. And you we know? can get into that because um, I think I think that's a part of why this game is, is selling poorly. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really have a ton of positives, to be honest. I think that's about it. Um, I think there's a lot missing, seemingly, from this game. So we'll see if that changes, you know. When time yeah, it would comes. be unfair to, like, it'd be unfair to, like, say I think that at this point. Because, again, I'm only through the campaign. There's, like, six. I didn't realize there's six what-if chapters. Yes. The campaign feels like it's even missing more to the story. Like, I feel like there's there's surely some sort of Dominion tie-in. Yeah, well, yeah there was longer. surely some... Yeah. Thing. you know it mm -hmm. just feels like something's missing in that sense yeah. um but yeah but uh what do you say we uh move on to our our next topic which actually is is in the same same vein right same here so frontier uh frontier um you know released this game let me bring up the article here it's around here somewhere 
Um, all right. So Jurassic World's poor debut sends Frontier down almost 40%. So this came out November 22nd, updated November 22nd. Um, so the sales were, the PC sales right here, it says PC sales, uh, were lower than expected, leading investors to bail on the stock. So not good. Not good. Not good. Biggest day loss. Uh, yikes. Um and you had mentioned, uh, let's see here, you had mentioned something about, you know, uh, competition and stuff like that, right? That maybe competition played a role in, in. I think that's what they had mentioned in the article they or something. It. Yeah, they mentioned it and... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I, it says here, it suffered from competition from highly uh, anticipated games launched at this at similar times. That's a, I think that's a half truth. I kind of went into this article thinking like, no, that's a lie. There was nothing that came out, but that's not true. There was a lot that came out that's not in the ecosystem I'm enjoying. I'm I'm a PlayStation guy. Sure. PlayStation has been we've been dead since like Ratchet and Clank kind of uh, <laughs> a few months ago. And that's uh, if you got a, a PS5. That's if you have a PS5. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I looked up what games came out recently in the last month. Uh, admittedly, I think Jurassic World falls low on the uh, gaming popular culture list. So the games that came out recently, Animal mm -hmm. Crossing, we discussed that. Probably not. Animal yeah, Crossing it, is a whole it, different it, platform. Uh, it's a whole different thing. But it's, yeah. also, it's also just like a DLC. So it's, you know. Hey, it's, it's huge, it's, though. And it's huge. Yes, yes. But I feel like that game is limited in terms of like what you can do per day. You know, kind of. All right. Uh, you know, I don't know, but there uh, we 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 play it right. So all right, so then on you, Steam, you play, the, you play the DLC. No, because again, I I I can't sit and play that DLC knowing I've got Jurassic World Evolution. <laughs> like I dropped, I mean, I got the PS5 version, man, in Canada. I spent like ninety bucks on this thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so uh, I can't do Animal Crossing. Yeah, you you can't. You gotta you gotta play the <laughs> play this <laughs> stupid game. Um. <laughs> Oh, so all right. So the big one on PC was Farming Simulator. Uh, that's, a, that's a cross platform game. Farming Simulator is actually huge and it's another simulation game. I can see that being a hit. Uh, Farming Simulator is is massive. Uh, I and then the uh, I know I didn't, I wouldn't have thought of it either. But when I first heard about it, they were like, they talked about it and like the numbers on Farming Simulator, it's like, it's so many thousands of copies every year that they can, they annualize it. There's a new version of farming simulator every single year. And it just happened to be this month that it, that it dropped. Hmm. Um, I think the two big ones for the consoles, uh, Halo multiplayer and Forza over on Xbox. Um, Jurassic, yes. Jurassic world has historically been an Xbox. Uh, the last two games have been like an Xbox partnership where all their badging, says, you know, it's got the Xbox emblem that flies in front, and then it talks about Jurassic World. It's not an Xbox game, but they want you to associate Jurassic World with Xbox, right? That's that's the game of that partnership. I think that's problematic. If this game was meant to drop at a certain time, and they have a partnership with Xbox, that means that they should dominate the front page for like a week, right? Like, you're basically paying for that exposure, um frontier is right but they dropped yeah, halo know. multiplayer early and then they released forza which is a huge in the racing genre yeah. and they're both on xbox slash like yeah. xbox on pc right that game that game like it's like really drawing me in to be like hey come buy a come buy an xbox me too i, mean, I, I can't get an xbox but i want one for forza and have you seen the yeah controller? have you seen the controller Oh, no i haven't what is both, this for both one halo, shared in the gift guide for both That's halo it. oh for both halo and forza there's a controller and they're both stunning the forza one okay. is like a clear is like a clear yellow with like pink and blue like paint spatter on it hmm. and then the okay. halo one i mean it looks like master it looks like a master chief maybe i've armor. seen that i think tom tom has like a, a nice halo edition system I, or something I, like I want one of those so bad but yeah. um yeah i this was a bad time to release evolution 2 yeah i mean we were talking about it a little uh behind the scenes that like 
maybe it's also it's a bad time but like it feels like um you know this whole a lot of things have been messed up because of covid right like mm -hmm. it's that's that's really uh, you could blame so many things in the past several years and 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 stuff on you know that hitting us at this time and and this is another one of the things you could add to the list and and because of Jurassic World Dominion being pushed the timing and release of so many things in the Jurassic yeah. franchise has been you know mismanaged and, and you don't really know when things are going to drop and they're maybe dropping at the wrong time. This maybe could have had a lot of Dominion tie-ins, but uh, didn't actually end up having anything. Or So there's a lot of weird, you know, stuff going on. So this well, is maybe another one of those things where it didn't have the tie-in that they expected um, with the film and, and they yeah. couldn't use that marketing push, you know. I but. mean, right. Let's talk about, let's talk about real world scenarios. This was a movie tie-in game that had no movie. Um, yeah. And, if this movie didn't hit by holiday, there would have been layoffs at Frontier. Undoubtedly, there would have been layoffs at Frontier. Unfortunately, because of the poor sales, I would imagine there's still going to be some layoffs at Frontier um, based on stock and stuff. Uh, I mean, don't don't quote me on that. I don't know the industry that well. But typically, when a big project like this doesn't do well, not everyone gets to keep their jobs for you know the short term. Um I was actually surprised that the I think I think something that could have helped this game a week out would have been the prologue which we're going to talk about later but mm -hmm. the at this point the prologue is now open it's out there anyone can watch it I feel like that would have been the perfect thing to be like okay and here's your first dinosaur pack for 1999 right get the uh mm. get the over, over raptor get the cats uh, Ketsukotlis, get the, uh, what's the one I'm like missing? Oh my gosh. Like off the top of my head, the big one at the end. Um, Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus, right? Like, I mean, obviously they're not part of the campaign. The campaign is done. The yeah. campaign is the campaign. So I feel like they could have done a 1999 dinosaur expansion two weeks later, you know, and release this prologue, but they didn't. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's hard for a full price game and then to have something so quickly after the fact. You think it's fact. so quickly after the fact? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much. I still Seems. haven't even, I, like, I it, honestly, like, I, yeah, I, I know sometimes games comes out and I beat it like in the weekend, but I'm still, still working on this thing. But maybe it's yeah. just because it hasn't drawn me back in. But I don't know. Um, this does stink. This is bad. And we don't like to hear this. It's not like, it's not like we're like, well, the game sucks. So, you know, obviously this, this should have happened. No, no, we don't want this to happen. Like, this is not good. You know, that we, you know, we see so many people from the frontier community within the Jurassic community mm -hmm. yeah. every day, daily with people and sharing things. And I think, I think frontier has done an, an amazing job so far this, uh, this time around, like sharing the game and, and talking about the game, releasing amazing videos each and every week and, and doing yeah. stuff daily on their Twitter and, and Instagram and stuff like that. So it's been really cool seeing them push this game. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened here. It's it's a bummer, but it, maybe it's a mix of a lot of things. And, you know, I think maybe the fact that it looks like it's uh, and in a way is is a is like the same game. You know, it's kind of hard to draw people back when they already played the game or you know you look at it you're like well this is exactly the same what do i need to play this for um so i feel like maybe that way it had a hard time drawing people in and and you had mentioned before it's just not at the the height of like gaming like uh, you know popularity something that you would want to play as, as a park builder so i don't know if they could have if they could have waited till january um i think i think Fe no but even february i think is i think february is horizon zero dawn two i think i think maybe um, but what this is, what this article is worrisome about is, you know, Jurassic World Evo one had a lot of longevity to it, had a lot of support. Um, we ended up getting dinosaurs way later down the line. We ended up getting really cool DLC. What worries me about this and evolution two should be the definitive Jurassic game at this stage, right? Mm -hmm. They know I'm sure with about all the species in dominion yeah. at this point. They know most of the story, I would imagine, to fit in. Uh, this should have been the definitive Jurassic 
six six trilogy, I don't know, six movie uh, compendium video game. And are we going to see, all, are they going to finish all their support plans for this game now if they are basically underfunded on it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but uh, hopefully things pick up. Hopefully maybe it has some better holiday sales and things like that. I don't know. There needs it's to be a second push at the movie. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would hope so. I mean, this is only PC sales, so I don't really know what the rest of it looks like. But, um, but yeah, that's a bummer to hear. So hopefully things pick up. But, yeah, we'll, we'll have to, well, you know, this is something that's going to be ongoing. Like you said, hopefully there's another push around the time the film comes out. And this is something is we're just going to keep on watching for a long time, I think. So, we'll, yeah, we'll getting, we will, for sure. Yeah, I'm sure. So let's move on to our next topic here. Okay. It is, uh, I, I want to talk a little bit.